Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. <clears throat> On today's lesson, we're going to look at the past continuous, also called the past progressive. Like in my examples, they were sleeping in class. Mm. She was not paying attention. Were you cooking when I called you? Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's look at the timeline. Okay, we have the horizontal line on the left representing the past and on the right the future then the vertical line represents now so you will find the past continuous or the past progressive in the past not with just one star but with at least three stars that means that it happened continuously in the past so when do we use it it is used to describe actions that began in the past and often continue it for a short period of time after the, the the action started so it happened continuously in the past we do not normally use it with state of verbs such as need be like love etc so it's impossible to say something like we were needing something no that's wrong because need is a state of verb so how is it formed first of all as I told you before uh, we need a helping verb here and we need it in every tense so the auxiliary verb or helping verb in this case is be but is in the past so is the past of the verb to be and is was or where so I was, you were, he, she, it was, we were, they were. Very good. Okay, so let's start with a positive sentence. So the formula is the subject plus HV for helping verb. So was aware, then an ing verb, the main verb would be, plus the object plus the time expression, for example. Like in these two examples, I was taking notes. Okay, I was taking notes. Or they were working last week. They were working last week so we have a negative sentence we need the subject so the subject as I told you before um, could be a noun or pronoun plus the helping verb plus not because it's negative plus the main verb ing verb plus the object and then maybe the time expression so, for example, he wasn't or he was not taking notes. He was not taking notes. They weren't or they were not sleeping in class. So, they were not sleeping in class. Now, what happens with questions? Interrogative. So, with questions, if you have or if you need, we need uh, the WH uh, question word, like... Uh, who, how, where, when, etc. Then the helping verb, we said that it was was or where. Then we need the subject plus ing verb. And then something else, for example, the object or the time expression, if you have it. Were you taking notes? Were you taking notes? Was she phoning someone? Was she phoning someone? Okay, so that's the three different sentences that we can have with the uh, past continuous or past progressive. So time expressions and adverb uh, adverbs of time that we need with the um, uh, past continuous or past progressive. So when, as, while, as and while, they are almost the same. A certain time specified, for example, yesterday at 
9 a.m. or last week on Sunday or three years ago in May. So these are just some examples, but there are so many so time expressions or adverse of time. So let's compare, and this is the most important part of the lesson. We have to compare the past continuous with the simple past or past simple. So for the past continuous, uh, when do we use it? For interrupted actions to describe parallel actions and background actions. So things that happened continuously in the past. Instead, the simple past, we use it for completed actions, habits and facts in the, in the past short actions so long and short actions maybe that will help you so the helping verb that we need for the past continuous is was or were for the simple past is did but pay close attention here we use did for questions and for negative sentences only for the simple past and we're still talking about the simple past for a positive sentence, we need the verb, which is regular or irregular. If it's regular, you need to add ed to the verb. If it's irregular, you need to learn the new verb. Okay, so pay close attention to the simple past. I said you need the helping verb for Questions or negative sentences only. For positive sentences, you need the verb in the, um, in the past, obviously. We're talking about the past. It can be regular or irregular. Instead, for the past continuous, we, need, we must use the helping verb always plus the verb ing verb. Okay, so ing is it goes along with the helping verb everywhere for negative sentences questions and positive sentences these tenses are usually used together to show sequence of events so you will find the past continuous and the simple past together in a sentence and i'm going to show you some examples the children were playing in the park when it started to rain. Okay, so they were playing, so this is continuous. Long time, we can say, more or less. And then, um, started to rain. Like right there, it started to rain. I was watching a movie when I noticed him standing outside. <coughs> Sorry. I was watching a movie when I notice him outside, standing outside. I saw a famous celebrity when I was shopping on Oxford Street. So something happened and then while I was doing something else. She was drinking too much, so she fell. Okay, so now we're going to do some exercise. So let's practice. Pause the video and complete the sentences. Then I'll give you the key. Now that you have completed the sentences, here is your key. I was sitting in a cafe when you called. When you arrived at the party, who was there? Susie was watching a film when she heard the noise. What were they doing at 10 p.m. last night? It was really noisy. He was in the shower when the telephone rang. When I walked into the room, everyone was working. He was living in Russia when the revolution started. So that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, please uh, type them under the video. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please click on the like button if you liked it. 
and then share it. Until next time, bye-bye.